Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style questions. How do you find great clothes without spending a fortune or buying cheap and unethically created, so no cheap and abused labour in poor countries, garments? So the first thing is to educate yourself about where, you know, who are the better manufacturers and the better retailers. And there are lists that come out every year. So I know Oxfam does a, what they call a naughty and nice list every year. They certainly do one in Australia. I would assume they do one in the UK. And they list out, they look at all the kind of major players in the market and they look at how transparent they are and what their factories are like and all those sorts of things so that you can, you know, choose to buy from the ones who treat their people really well versus the ones who don't. Uh, so that could be the first thing to do. There's also, you know, plenty of websites these days that do actually list all sorts of things about the kind of how you know it kind of ethically produced your clothes might be to how sustainable the fashion is and where the stuff comes from and how it's produced and all that sort of stuff so i would recommend going online and doing some research and finding out who are the places that meet your set of criteria your ethical criteria versus who are the places you want to avoid completely uh so that would be the first thing and then also also consider things like thrifting. So thrift stops, shops are often full of hardly worn garments uh, because people bought them and never really wore them and end up giving them away. You can like, so buying second hand is really quite ethical because the stuff is not going into landfill and it means that you can give stuff a second life. And of course, there's always, you know, making your own as well. Uh, but I always think, remember when we're buying things, it's that recruitment phase, bringing the clothes into your wardrobe phase that we want to be very conscious and make good decisions rather than having the things in there that we don't really love or wear or don't necessarily meet our ethical needs. So I'd say it, part of it is do a bit of research before you go shopping. There's so many resources these days out there to give you that information you need. Um, and then, you know, make the decision about what it is. There's plenty of great, you know, factory outlets if you don't want to spend too much, you know, secondhand on places like eBay or even, you know, Facebook Marketplace. There's also all the thrift stores, there's consignment stores, all those sorts of places you can find amazing pieces, good quality pieces at without spending a fortune. And of course, knowing where you want to go. And sometimes it's, you know, can be waiting till something goes on sale if you have a, you know, favorite retailer that is out of your budget, but usually there is a sale at some stage or other.